Hello. Hang on, just let me reorganize the breasticles. Great. I know that a lot of you requested to see how I color my hair and I've been an ambassador for Garnier forever and I've been home coloring my hair since I was 18. All types of colors, it's crazy. I'm gonna put some pictures on here now. And I just thought it's quite overwhelming and frightening and daunting coloring your hair for the first time. But if you are gonna color your hair a block color, a home hair color kit is brilliant. And it's so easy to do. And it all looks very scary because there are so many different things and parts to it. But I am going to demystify it and I'm gonna show you how I do it. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is. I just want to point out that I did think about doing this after watching my last YouTube video where I was in my Dennis the Menace uh, jumper and I I was doing some makeup and I hadn't lit myself at all. Well, firstly, I thought, my God, I look like 95 years old. And secondly, I thought, Jesus wept the greys on her. Um, I had greys here, I had greys here. Please now cut two shots of that uh, vlog with circles around the grey bits of hair. Anyway, so here goes. Honest to God, these are like gold dust. People steal my hairbands. Anyway, the color that I use is number five. It's actually quite a medium brown. The reason why I like it is because it is a flat brown and my hair can go very red when I color it. Everybody's hair is slightly different and this one really just gives me a lovely flat brown, which I really like, which suits me. So, a patch test. Everybody has to do a patch test. Um, I put it here and I put a little bit of the colorant. Now, do not mix the colors when you do a patch test because you want to do a patch test about 48 hours before you're gonna do your hair. The reason why they get you to do a patch test is because you can actually develop a really nasty allergy to hair color at any time. It is extremely rare, but it can happen. So a patch test is always a good idea. So you just put a tiny dab of the colorant behind your ear here, leave it on 48 hours, and if it's absolutely clear, you reseal it 48 hours later, fine. Then you can mix it. So this is what you get. You get some instructions, some sexy, sexy gloves. You get a developer, you get a colorant, and my absolute favorite, you get a conditioner. This conditioner is the best. The extra that I bring is this. Now, before you even start, you want to comb through your hair to make sure that there are no knots or anything. This makes it much easier to apply. Now, you can see that I have quite long hair, so I use two packs of Nutrice. I would like to also suggest that you wear some kind of dark bra type thing. This is a sports bra, so it's gonna be easy for me to take off to get into the shower when it's finished, so I can just whip it off. If it gets any color on it, it doesn't really matter. So what you do first, and you wanna do it quite quickly. Let me see if I can film down here. I've got the two developers. My toothbrush and my razor. My razor was there because I had to quickly shave my pits. Like, they weren't bad, but they just had a little bit of fluff, and I thought I'm going to be going like this a lot. So I got my razor out, quickly did an old pit shave before we started. Attractive. I'm going to put the gloves on now because even when you're mixing, it could get on your hands. And because it's really permanent, you don't want to get it on your nail bed or anything like that. It can stay in your nails and everything. And then what you do is you do not take this bit off until you have mixed the color. Otherwise it goes all over the place. And then you just squeeze all the color. That bottom, there we go. Put that in the bin, put the lid back on so there's no spillages or mistakes. And undo this one. I'm gonna do it over here so I can squeeze it out properly. Squeeze it all the way down, make sure you get all the color out. Then people, we dance. Exercise for the arms, look at those biceps, look at those bingo wings flapping away, yes. We love the bingo wings. Embrace the bingo wings. Ooh, ooh. Ah, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Put 
I'll show you like how grey is my hair because I have got it covered um, there, there. Can you see the grey there? Can you see it? Oh, that's good. There, you can see that. Oh yeah. Here we go. Quick, quick comb through again because that really helps break off the top. And I'm in fact going to bring my mat underneath me. And what I do is I go parting first, like that, all the way back to the crown. I do fringe in a minute. I use the nozzle to put a parting in, like that, bring it over, and put it in that parting, all the way back, and then massage it in. And I put it in that parting, and so on, and so forth. And I go down the sides, and then when I get to sort of down here, I start parting and squeezing at the same time. It doesn't have to be perfect. What you want to make sure is that you get it on the roots of all of your hair, and you need tons of it. If you're quite grey, you do not want to have your roots lighter than the rest of your hair, which is quite easy to do with a home kit. There we go. I'm gonna try and show you what I do with the fringe. But I am actually quickly gonna look in the mirror in the bathroom to make sure that I've got these side bits here. Because these side bits are the ones that are super gray. Okay, now I'm going to do the other side. It's good for the old arms, I can really feel it. So I've done the front bits, which are the most important bits, and I'm just going to double check that I've got my crown done, because that's also a place where there are quite a lot of stubborn greys. And I'm sort of guessing, really. I'm just trying to squeeze it into any rooty bits. That's how much of my head I've done, and I've run out. So I'm going to break this one and start with that. I don't have as much grey at the back as I do around the front, so that's why I do this bit last. I would also recommend, once in a while, go and get your colour done at the um, hairdressers. But to be honest, this is so quick and easy to do, and that's why I do it. Making sure I've got lots here in these roots, because this is where it shows, where it shows a lot. Around the back's all done. Okay, so I have done um, a bottle, probably and a half, and I've got it really into my roots, but it's kind of off the ends at the moment. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look in the mirror over here, and I am going to just gently take some of the color. I can see where drips are, there's a little drip there. I can also see a little bit on the top of my ear, a little bit round here. So when I told Michael that I was gonna show you guys how I color my hair, my boyfriend's um, hair stylist, he's my hairstylist, um, he said, oh, I'll tell him to put some Vaseline around here. If you're worried about colour getting on your head, if you put a bit of Vaseline around, it just stops it um, getting in there. To be honest, I'd just blur the Vaseline with the cut. I mean, I'd make a right like mess of it. So I, I don't do the Vaseline, but I haven't got it on my shoulders, have I? <laughs> I am going to go downstairs and um, cook my son some lunch, and then I am going to, in 20, hang on, five minutes, let's see what it says. I think it's 25 minutes, 25 minutes. Okay, so it has been 25 minutes. So I'm just gonna really kind of make sure that it's all really nicely massaged in. And comb through all the bits of fringe. You're kind of just massaging it through. And in fact, I'm gonna leave the ends. Sometimes I put extra on the ends, but they look quite dark. So I don't feel like they need any extra colour. Wash my hands. I know it looks nuts because I've got a white towel, but basically the point is after you've showered is that basically you want to check that all, you make sure that all of the colour is out of the hair so that when you wash it um, and, and you put a towel on your head, 
most of it's gone. Having said that, maybe I'll go and get a slightly darker towel. What well, is silly, isn't it? I'm gonna wait for another 10 minutes and then I am going to wash it out, put the conditioner on and show you what it looks like when I come out the other side. I am going to go and get a slightly darker towel. I mean, I have used white ones before, but I just, I'm gonna get one that doesn't, that I don't love. So um, clearly I haven't dried my hair, but I wanted to show you no greys, no greys. So well chuffed with that and so super shiny. It just goes like uber, uber gorgeous after I've treated it. You catch the drift. Look at that, so shiny. 